Welcome back to Kids Coding Playground channel. It's time to continue our exciting journey with the bubble tea making game. So in today's uh, tutorial, we'll be deep dive into the code for the teapot, the tea, the teacup sprite, and start our uh, bubble tea creation process. So get ready and take your bubble tea uh, making skill to the next level. All right, without further ado, let's go back and check on what we had last time. So we had the cat. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So pretty much here, some of the code we're gonna go through a little bit. So if you guys miss anything, be sure to pause the button pause the video and check your code okay so this is the cat this one is the customer okay and the tapioca scoop okay tapioca scoop and then the tapioca pearl okay and then uh, i don't yeah we have some of the cup okay where we fill up the tapioca i think that is everything Okay, so today we'll be working on the teapot, the tea, the teacup. Okay, all right, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start the teapot. So you remember last time on this tapioca, after it's done dropping tapioca, we had a, something called start tea, right? So we're going to use that broadcast message. So let's start here. So let's start in the teapot. So, when green flag is clicked, okay, then we're gonna set the teapot to whatever position. You can have any other position, but here's where mine is at the time. And I'm gonna make it point in direction 90. So, because later when we turn the teapot, we wanna make sure that, you know, when we start the game, it's always on the same position, it's not flipped over, right? And then we're gonna say show. Okay, and then we have the message that start T, right? We had so we're gonna say when I receive start T, I'm gonna have to do the same thing, make sure that it goes here again. So that way, I can use this later on to uh, you know, when we make the second T and the third T. Okay, I'm gonna use the glide one second, and then we uh, want to glide it like somewhere on the top here. So for me, I think I had that down, negative 75. So as you can see, you can do whatever, kind of whatever makes sense. So just, I think this one was a little bit better for me. It just kind of looked a little bit, uh, you know, uh, when it flipped over, it looks good. So I kept it over there at this time. And then I say, uh, repeat 10 times. And then here, uh, what I'm going to do is going to change the uh, rotation, uh, five degree. And then we'll wait for the mouse down. Just like how we did the tapioca pro drop, we'll make, wait for the mouse down. And then we'll start pouring the tea. So, so make, wait for mouse down and broadcast a message. So this time we broadcast something called new message. And this is called pour tea. Okay. And then we're gonna play the tea sound until done. Okay, so when we broadcast pour tea, we're gonna go to our tea and then we're gonna make the tea drop to the cup. Okay, all right, so next let's move it to our tea. Or we can try to do this first. So let's say if I run this right at the beginning, it's here. If I click on this, you can run it just to check. So you can see the teapot kind of go there and then turn and then waiting for my mouse down. When I put the mouse down, then we will have the, you know, the pour tea and whatnot, right? Okay, all right, so that is good. That part is working. So let's click this and get it back over here. So let's move on to the T uh, sprite. So the T sprite is where we're going to make the T drop. So let's go to the T sprite. Um, when green flag is clicked, <clears throat> I'm going to hide the T so that we don't see it. And when we receive. Um, Pour tea that we just did. Pour tea. Then we're gonna we actually we're gonna create a variable first. So make a variable called counter. So this what we're going to do is 
we're gonna use this counter to count how many tea drop in, and then when 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 there's certain part of the tea drop after a certain amount, we're gonna broadcast and start filling the cup. So that's why we need the counter for that. And make sure you create it for this sprite only. So if you see this T, it says a T colon something, right? So this is for this sprite only. Versus if you see something like this one, change color, change color does not have a a uh, sprite name in front so this is a global variable and this is like a local variable to that sprite okay all right so just hide that for now okay pull t we're gonna set the counter to zero and we're gonna make it go to 20 negative 30 so somewhere on top here so you just show it so it's like right here you see where the t is so i try to align the t where the tip of the teapot is after the teapot go through so let's say if i push this right so you can see so i want to align the t maybe somewhere around like the right here right, right where the teapot is so that's what i did okay all right so let's go back to the t put it back down okay so now let's go back to our cup okay so let's hide this one. okay all right so next what we're going to do is uh we're going to say um repeat uh, here we say repeat 25 times and i am going to create a clone of myself so that will create more t drop and i'll give it a little weight in between uh, 0 0.1 second okay and then i'm gonna change the counter so change the counter by one, okay? And then I say if, and then we use the equal sign in the operator here, and then go to the variable, grab the counter. If the counter is equal to 10, uh, then we're gonna broadcast another message. So this one will broadcast a new message called fill T. Okay, so this will fill the T and start the T will, uh, you know, we can change the custom on the cup. And then after the fill T, and then at the very end, we can broadcast another message called fill or uh, start syrup. So this is for us to start the syrup bottle later on. So we don't have to worry about that right now. We'll we use that later. Okay. So now let's look at this code again. So we have the pull T code. Pause if you need a little break, okay? Uh, if not, continue. So next, we're gonna say, whenever we create something, when I create a clone, you have to make sure that you have to say, when I start as a clone, okay? And when you use clone, and also you make sure you have to delete the clone as well. So next, we're gonna use this thing. So if, so here I'm gonna add some code, but it's not going to affect the, uh, the game right now, or will affect the game later. So here we have something called change color. So what I'm doing is uh, I check the change color is greater than zero. So basically before my change color is zero. So when I change the cup uh, color, it will go on like different colors so that we can like uh, don't need to draw so many sprites. So we can use change color variable to change the cup, uh, you know, this uh, bubble tea color each time the uh, after one customer is served to the next customer. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to say set, set the color effect and we are going to set it to this variable change color so we're going to change it by 50 or whatever next time so you can see it i'll show you later but right now for now let's just continue with the code okay next we're going to say uh, go to so here we're going to say go to negative 20 and negative 30 okay so around that and then i'm going to say show okay and then what we're going to do is we need to repeat until okay and then and then we're going to use the all condition from the operator uh, sensing we're going to say repeat until it's either touching the cup or touching the uh, teacup so basically this is the cup you see that no no lid this is the teacup with the uh, with the tea inside Okay, so we're gonna make it uh, change y, change y by minus five, so we can drop the t down. 
and then when they touch the cup, we want to delete the clone. So make sure you use clone, get the delete clone. If not, you know, um, uh, Scratch will have problem of the 300 clone. Okay, so we have that so far. So right now, if I play the game, you will see the tea party can drop tea, but then it doesn't change it to the tea cup. So we have to do that later. So let's just play it for now and see how it looks. Okay, so we have make bubble tea. So the the player, uh, the customer will comes in. And then we have the tapioca pearl, we click on it. So this will drop the pearl here. And then you see the teapot comes up. I click on the teapot, you can see the tea is coming down. So let's say this is a, the tea is a little bit low. You can start it higher. So you see my tea is kind of low, right? Uh, you can move it up like maybe like right here. I think maybe my original code is a little bit different. So maybe we can change the Y, maybe negative five or something. So instead of negative 30, let's change it to negative five. Maybe my original code is a little bit different than this one. So it could be different. So negative five. So we're gonna start negative five. So now let's try this again. So uh, go back to the uh, go back to the teapot. I'm gonna say start tea. Right? So now you see my tea is kind of there, right? So let's just hide the uh, hide, uh, hide the uh, hide the tea again. Okay? Alright, so when when I say start T, it's gonna be waiting for a mouse down. So I click on the mouse down, you can see the T is dripping down, right? Okay, but right now you can see it doesn't fill up the T, but we still have to make the T fill up in the cup, right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna broadcast a message to change the cup, okay? Okay, so let's go back to our cup. So our cup here, uh, when we receive a new message, uh, call it a pour tea. Then we're gonna say wait one second, and then we're gonna broadcast a message. New message, call change tea cup. Okay, and then hi. So basically. We're gonna change the teacup and the high, and so that this teacup is no longer there, we're gonna change it to this teacup. So now let's go to our teacup. So in our teacup, we can say when green flag is clicked, okay, say go to, so go to the tea, uh, to go to the cup, so that wherever the cup starts, this teacup is gonna be the same place. And we are going to hide it in the beginning. Okay. And also, when I receive a start, start is where the game starts. We also want to hide it. So that way, you know, we don't want to show it. And when we get a uh, fill tea, that's when we were filling up the tea. What we can do is, let's, let's do it over here, actually. So when we say fill tea, here we're gonna say uh, repeat 10 times and then we're gonna say next cast two and we're gonna do a little bit of wait wait 0 0.2 second then we also have this change teacup that we did right so change teacup so for change teacup we're gonna say go to to the cup okay and then we're gonna say point in direction 90. So because later I'm gonna shake this uh, bubble tea cup, so we wanna put it back on the original spot. And also uh, we're gonna put in this uh, code for color change. We don't need it right now, but we'll use that later. So we're gonna say when the change color is greater than zero, then we'll set the color. So that way we can have like the green bubble tea, the, uh, you know, um, I don't know, red or blue or whatever. Okay, and then we're gonna change the color. And then we're going to switch to the costume. Number one. So that one has like no, uh, a little bit of tea, I think, and then starting to fill up. And then we'll do add the word shell. Okay, so now let's see. So now let's play the game again. Okay. So you can see, just zoom out a little bit with the code. So you can see the tapioca pearl comes down. So it drops down to the thing, and then the teapot comes up, and then it drops the tea, as you can see, it's not filling up. 
but as you can see, our 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 little um, you know the scoop is still here. Right? Those things were to take care. So now let's go back to the tapioca scoop. So we're gonna have to hide it. Okay. We're gonna have to hide the uh, hide it. So I'm gonna say when I start uh, the uh, start T when start T happen. I'm gonna hide it. So hide this guy. Okay, and then uh, maybe we can hide, uh, do something else in the customer as well. Let's go to the customer. So we can little change a little bit of uh, you know costume stuff. So we're gonna say when the tapioca drop, the drop tapioca, we're gonna switch to uh, costume number one, which is the change one. Let's duplicate this, and we're gonna change this to pool tea. Then we switch to costume number two, the change one. So let's see if we have everything. Okay, so we need one more thing. Let's go back to the teapot. So when we fill up, uh, we have something called uh, fill the syrup later, start the syrup. So we're gonna put the teapot back down right after the tea is finished. So we're gonna put the teapot back down. Let's, uh, when I start, uh, start syrup. I'm gonna change the teapot position back to 90 as well so that it will face to the right and we're gonna glide one second back to um, negative 160 and negative 25 which is the starting position so now let's test the game again okay so let's make a bubble tea let's see make sure everything works okay here the, the customer comes in and then we have the bubble tea cup here we click on this to fill the, the cup with the bubble and then we we'll click on the teapot and then we we'll fill the tea up so the next part we have to work on is actually filling up the uh, syrup and then we have to get the straw and we'll to give it to the customer and then we also have to add this uh the icon so that it will show up how many how many persons you know to to give the tea to so what we can do last part is for this video we can add the sound so let's go to our backdrop so say when green flag is clicked uh just say forever and then we can say you yeah, have a sound a rain sound here that we can use so we can say play rain until done and save it so if you test your game now you should hear some background music with the rain coming down and it should make your game a little bit interesting playing with the music and everything all right so you can click on this again so fill up the cup or bubble click on this again and start filling up the tea and then once the tea is finished it glides back and then next part we'll add the syrup and then add the, uh, the lid and then shake the cup and then add the straw and give it to the customer and then make the icon appear finish and then it'll go with the next customer and so on okay so this is where we're going to stop the video for now and uh, make sure you tune in for the part three of this uh, tutorial and i'll see you guys next time thank you bye bye